welcome on easy learning now we are going to cover uh, next question in this video of the easy 102 it is question number four part b divide the following words into morphemes indicate the order in which they are added if you think the word is one morpheme say that now the division of words into a smaller meaningful unit part is called morpheme now you can see the definition clearly that when the word is divided into a very a smaller meaningful units okay and that unit or that part is known as the morpheme for example dethrone so now you, this is the word okay now this word has been divided into a smaller meaningful unit for example d plus throne but you must have the knowledge about the types of morpheme i have already discussed in other videos okay what kind of like free morpheme and bond morpheme now you can see that d plus throne has been used it is the bond morpheme it is not the free morpheme because d is also a morpheme throne is also okay so now here the word has been divided into two one so d here it is the one morpheme sorry throne is not a morpheme throne is the root word but with the help of the d that can also be called the prefix now there is the structure of this word next next is irregularities ir plus regular plus it is so ir es the, it has the two morphemes ir in the prefix and is in the suffix again it has the innings so s by the end of it so it has one morpheme one thing is to note here is that here s or es is also used like allomorph so actually allomorph has most of the time verb verb it is the noun so in the verb when we add s or es by at the end of the word okay then it is called allomorph but it is here the morpheme we have other words like revitalize again re plus vital plus i so now vital is the root word so what are the other structure they are the bound morpheme r e and i z e so the, in this word we have the two morphemes lovelier now how many morphemes we have we have the love that is the root word ly and er so ly and er we have the two morphemes again this allow allow is the root word and this is a morpheme what kind of morpheme it is bond morpheme it means the meaning is not independent and this is completely dependent on allow this is why it is known as the bond morpheme as well so it is this plus allow so it this is one morpheme water boat is a what kind of word it is a root word and er has been used so it is one morpheme again next is destabilize again stabilize you know the stable word so stable is a, a root word so d is morpheme and eyes is also morpheme what kind of morpheme they are bound bound morpheme because these i z e and d they both are dependent on the stable if the stable is not there then their meaning would be nothing this is why we have the two kinds of morpheme first is t next is i z e so the, it is written two morphemes next is insanity we have the root word sanity i n has been used here and this is why it has been written insanity we have only single one morpheme last one it is unlikely we have like word but we have two bound morpheme first is un second is ly because these two are again un is dependent on like and ly is also dependent on like so this is known as the bond morpheme so un and ly they are called the two morphemes.